Technique's a problem. We can figure that out. Problems always got solutions. We can't go in nowhere. Hey, that's up to you. We're Neek. Probably our fucking rock. What? So it's rock you fucking. Ronnie told me. Running your fucking mouth to Panessa ain't no big dog shit. That's bitch shit! Family turn on family. Neek dad gone for good. Where's Neek? What you do to him? Just tell me, tell me where the fuck he is. You rocks, boy. It's Kane. Welcome back, Top Notch Gang, to another video where we will be diving into Ronnie and his new master plan right after he just took down his own brother, Unique, in episode five. And I do want to let you guys know that I think they're going on a bit of a like a two week break, so we won't receive a new episode until January 12th. So let me know what other theories or prediction videos you want to see down below. But like I said, we need to get into Ronnie and that master plan that's going to take effect now that he took out his brother. So we got to talk about his three new alliances that's going to form one already being snapped that we saw take place in episode four with snaps front him the money we got to talk about his new alliance that's gonna take place with juliana now that he has eliminated unique he's gonna go back and see her and they're gonna be in business with one another and last but not least the one and only kane and he's gonna be under ronnie's wing learn the game from him go from the street corners to the club the little weed to the heroin he's about to dive all the way in and reveal to us in the episode seven description saying how kanan will assimilate into ronnie's crew we also gotta dive into the possible aspects that he could use kanan to get back at rock to take rock out especially with kanan's new hatred for her that's only gonna grow once he finds out she put the gun in his bag speaking of getting back at rock that leads us to the other part of his master plan with sending panessa yes unique baby mama i believe he's gonna be the one to send her after rock tell her where she lives everything like that we're gonna point out all the clues and details we already received also in this video i almost forgot to mention we're diving into a whole section of is rock Ronnie Breeze. That whole argument was big at the beginning of the season, but then it died down as the season went on. Everybody was like, nah, he's not Breeze, but now people are starting to think it again. So we're going to dive into that a little within this video as well. So we got to dive into all those details. As usual, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let's get right into it. Now to quickly run through his alliance with Kanan as we made a whole video on how this was going to take place and it also involves his alliance with Snaps. So in episode 4 Snaps told him he was going to front him some money but he wasn't going to be the only person so we saw within that episode of course Ronnie when he met with Juliana who wasn't ready to do business with him because of Unique. We're going to get back to that later. And he also went to Dean. Dean wasn't fucking with him. Took that nigga Dean out. Now he's going to have Juliana back in his side and he also is going to have Kanan. More than and likely Ronnie is going to be the one to introduce Kanan to Snaps and Kanan is actually going to meet Snaps within the next episode within episode 6 which is funny enough the same episode Famous is going to reveal to him that it was Rock who put the gun in his bag and with this information he's going to officially cut off both Famous and Rock he's going to tell Famous my business is my business I don't need you anymore I don't want you around this is also where the conversation we saw in the original trailer is going to to take place where we see Kane in, in both of these scenes with the black sweatshirt on with the gold chain telling Rock I'm never gonna understand none of this and I'm damn sure I'm never gonna understand you I'm never gonna understand none of this I'm damn sure never gonna understand you so he's really officially gonna cut both of them off and be done with it and this is just gonna push him more and more inclined to work with Ronnie and once again like I say he's gonna meet with Snap within the next episode we've already been seeing clips from trailers showing all of them in a club together taking pictures where we see jukebox telling rock Kanan been kicking it with some old heads we see snaps Kanan and ronnie they're all right there with one another and once again i pointed out in the description 
for episode seven, it says Kanan assimilates into Ronnie's crew. So this is going to be a major move on Ronnie's part. Even if he's not using it to get back at Rock, Kanan, he's turning fruitless already. We can see how he's treating famous, the rest of his family. So it kind of just makes sense for both of them at this time to link up. Now, switching over more so to the Juliana side of things, she wasn't down to do business initially because of the situation with her and Unique in the past. Unique kidnapped her. And now initially, this nigga Ronnie was like, if Unique is a problem, problems can be solved. But then this nigga went back on his word and said, Unique, he's not going nowhere. And she tells him, well, that's up to you. Eventually, Ronnie did take out Unique in that big fight, in that big brawl. And now we see in the episode six trailer, Ronnie goes back to Juliana's house and he's knocking on her door. He's going to tell her he got the job done. Unique isn't a problem anymore. And let's get this work. Let's get this product. And she's not really going to have no choice but to accept to go with it because he did what she asked. But I do think the next step in her mission or her next goal will be to take out Rock and that will be put on the back burner for the time being. But their alliance will form and they will work together. So this puts Ronnie in a position where he now has snaps and Juliana bagging him. And he also took out two major players like Dean and unique so he's kind of at the top of the food chain running shit right now so forming these new alliances his master plan is already getting set and in order next up talking about ronnie sending panessa after rock now i think they showed us already enough clues and details and have enough setup to make this happen so let me point it all out to you. First off, we see in the episode six trailer, a slight scene, a small cut of Vanessa with her head down, hands on her head. We see the gun on the table and in the slight corner, right before they cut away, we see a handkerchief. Of course, this is what Ronnie be using to wipe his glasses, make sure everything good. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be having a conversation about this and she's gonna believe it was Rock. Now, of course she knows Ronnie is crazy. She doesn't trust him he makes her nervous she's scared of him we've been seeing it the entire season but i do think she trusts him enough to have not done something to his brother so she will believe him that it was rock also he already set this up because he told her in the last episode it's rock neek been fucking and when she went and confronted neek about it and why it had to be rock rock shot at his car rock put him in jail and he stormed out her assumption is probably he went to see Rock or something of that sort. Now, it also makes sense he knows where Rock lives and he would send her there because we saw him follow Neek earlier in the season and he saw Neek leaving Rock house and that's how he found out Rock and Neek was fucking. So it makes sense she would get the location from Ronnie as well and also the gun matches up. So it looks like he's gonna try to keep his hands clean with taking out Rock and do it from afar by sending someone like Vanessa. Now of course she's a rookie at this shit and it won't work. Literally in the same episode 6 trailer we could see Rock taking the gun away from her. Now of course she was in distress but rock she's a seasoned veteran she been did this shit she's gonna jump back into the game she's gonna take the gun from her and of course she better than anyone is gonna know it was ronnie who took out unique based off everything unique has been telling her ronnie's out here wilding she knows he was the one who took out dean and she's gonna be able to put two and two together now she doesn't know about all these alliances forming with him and snaps him and kanan and definitely not him and juliana so she has a lot more to worry about and look out for but she will at the very least know that he is the enemy he is the threat <laughs> last up is ronnie breeze now me i honestly still don't think so for some reason i feel like breeze still hasn't been introduced into the series into the show now i can see why a lot of people think he could be breeze because this master plan and everything that's going on and that we know eventually he's gonna work with kanan but ronnie he seems so old school he don't look like the type to go have a moniker or an alias i should say and go by breeze he just don't feel like that type like he feel old school so i just don't think or just don't know if breeze has been introduced yet and i don't have really much evidence or any reveals to go off to say that he is breeze based on the show so you guys let me know down below 
if you do think he's Breeze, why do you think that? If you don't, put that down below as well. Because currently, I just don't think he's Breeze. And I think Breeze has yet to be introduced in the series, like I said. And I've also been seeing theories that Unique is Breeze. He's alive. He's going to come back as Breeze after a while. That's just insane to me. I don't know where those theories are coming from. But that's the wildest theory that I've heard in a minute. I think Joey Badass already came out and said his character is dead he's not coming back and it was more so because he wanted to focus on his music but as well as he didn't want to be limited to the type of roles he performed and played in other movies and shows he wanted to show his range so he think it was time for the character to go he also said the character was supposed to been taken out but the fans loved him obviously he was a fan favorite so they kept him around a little longer but based off all that i just don't think ronnie is Breeze. I could obviously be wrong, but nothing, no signs is pointing at that just yet. But if I'm missing something, once again, let me know what information down below in the comments. Overall, though, that's it for this video. This is Ronnie's master plan to be on top, be the king on the chessboard. He already knocked off top players like Dean and his own brother, Unique. Rock is probably next up on the chopping block. He has dominant pieces in his corner with Snaps and Juliana and Kanan. He's a pawn right now, but he could easily make his way across the board be a knight, be a rook, be a queen, be a king himself, as we saw in the original power. So Ronnie's making moves. You guys can let me know how do you think they all turn out down below. And once again, I just mentioned the breeze shit, but if you think he breathes, let me know. If you don't, let me know. Once again, though, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I mentioned we're so close to 10K subscribers. I want to hit it for the new year. So if you guys could sub up, this is the last video I'm posting before that. So do that for me. But... I'm out.